everybody and welcome back to a brand new video so today we are going to be doing a safe opening video so this is my secondary account so my small account and as you can see i've stocked up quite a nice amount of golden safes mystery safes uh, nation safes um and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm hoping that we get some good stuff you know and because of opening these we're gonna get a uh, another couple keys there i'm excited i'm looking forward to seeing what we can get we might open a couple cigar ones as well take in mind we don't have very many legendary capos at the moment so we still have a lot to get um but let's see what happens i'm going to be honest with you guys right some of you may disagree and that is absolutely fine i'm here to um i'm here to listen to everybody and to learn alongside everybody. And I'm gonna be honest, I've found myself personally, I get the best rewards when opening safes by one at a time. I've seen that there is a Leaven safe trick, um, which I believe Devoted, one of the other content creators on the Idol Mafia has made a video on shout out to him i haven't tried it too much i did it a couple times and i didn't actually get um i didn't get lucky i didn't get to legendaries with it um um so what we will do so the last um last 11 we have for the golden saves and for the mystery saves we will open 11 just to test it out just try it out and if anybody else has any other you know tricks or tips they have for opening saves at time drop it down below you know um because everybody needs to learn everybody needs to kind of you know get there at some point slow and steady right so there's a lot of capos we still need so we're going to work our way through jeez got a nice new legendary gogo okudo yeah very nice i've been told that uh Japan capos are the hardest to get tokens for. But weirdly enough, my main account has literally got a huge loadout of um, Japan capos, and they're my main like kind of ones I use. To be honest with you, you know. Um, also, guys, comment down below what capos do you use, and what ones would you recommend me to use? You know, and other people watching. You know, put it down in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to see what other people do because the best way to learn guys on the game i'd like to say is to take information and guidance from everybody you know I'm not saying anyone's right or anyone's wrong just taking it and making your own trying it out and seeing you know where it gets you on the game you know because with this game is obviously it's a very strategic game and it's not the easiest game in the world to play obviously you know if it was we'd all go sky high and we wouldn't get stuck like on my main account i'm stuck a little bit because i need to get some capos upgraded and it's not the easiest to get tokens you know um and the great thing about this game is i truly believe it's not pay to win i don't think there is really a way to just buy your way to the top i really strongly believe there isn't and that's why i like this game so much i really really do so what we're going to do is we're going to open 11 capos at a time and let's see what we get open up but we didn't get two legendaries but it might just be for the mystery safes but we will go down that route and see what we get you know there's no harm done in, in you know, giving it a try guys but take in mind even though obviously i'm trying one on each of doing 11 you know safe trick in theory doesn't mean that it doesn't work um because everything oh he's a very good one i do like him i've got him on my main account he's one of the strongest um it doesn't mean that it doesn't work got to take a mind opening safes is a, a slight gamble so doesn't mean that obviously the lemon trick doesn't actually do that every time but it might do it majority of times so maybe in the future i can do a couple clips of me opening the lemon you know, 11 crate uh, 11 safe trick and see see what happens see what the, the grand scheme is to a majority of it the medium surprisingly i think we're getting quite a lot of japan capos i don't think they are the hardest to get i don't know we've got another japan 
But obviously, realistically, the, the main ones we are going to need and want are legendary ones. But in the future video, I will show everybody to you know about exchanging capos. Nice, we've got another legendary. Um, I'll show everyone to you know like exchanging capos and the way I find it to be the most beneficial and what works best for me. And hopefully, it might work well for you guys as well. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Have a little look. So, never get disheartened if you don't get loads and loads and loads and loads of legendaries. It does not matter too much, guys, yeah? And the reason I say that is because you can exchange the capos. So, it's not the end of the world if you don't get loads of golds back to back because they will come and you can exchange, you know? I will be bringing a video out on this soon. Um, ooh, what have we got? Ooh, nice. We've got another legendary. This person here, uh, Augustine, Augustine, he, um, he's very highly recommended by one of my underbosses, um, Flamed Fighter. And he is, Flamed Fighter is a fantastic player on the game from what I've seen so far. So realistically, if you've got him, guys, give him an upgrade and, and see how it goes, you know? Definitely so. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Right, so let's go through. I don't even know what I was going to say before, to be fair. Oh, oh yeah, the game. D try not to rush through the game too much because I'm going to make a video on it for like a, a further in-depth explanation. But I feel the game does need to be played at a certain speed. So I think you've got to find a happy medium between going, oh, we've got another legendary, going too fast and going too slow, you know, um, because you want to make sure that you, your buildings are automated, your capos are strong, keeping up with everything. And I will make a video on this and I will explain in more detail why I think that and why I believe that and why I think maybe you guys should try it and take it on board too, especially if you're a newer player. Obviously, if you're an older player, you know, you'll probably be slowed down now anyway, so you have to go at the speed of what you can go at anyways. Another legendary, nice. So, I will go in depth on a video like that. And if you do want to see that video, comment down below. Let me know. No. I'm more than happy stocking up loads of purples and stuff like that because it really does make a difference. We've got eight purples on that one, you know. Nine now. Two back to back, guys. Two back to back. But with this count, I've gone a lot slower and I haven't jumped into just upgrading all of my capos and, you know, focus on certain ones because I'm still educating myself and I'm still learning through my main account and stuff like that of which capos I really want to work on and which ones I want to be my main ones, you know, from from you know, doing the gang wars, which that video will probably, well, that video will be out before this one. Uh, ooh, we've got Bella. Very nice. You can tell... Um, that realistically later game you're kind of going to want to have four sets of capos you know strong ones obviously so it's not a focus right now but as you go through you're going to want to start upgrading some other ones and you know getting a nice solid four lines of what well, 14 should i say of capos you know right got 10 of them now wow right so we've got 44 more of these Tell you what, right? Let me open a few more of these, right? All right, so we're gonna open one more of these and then we're gonna do some times um times tens, right? Just to see the difference. Nice, we got him. I think he's I think he's a pretty good one. Um especially for like buildings. So you see the blue ones, guys, so the blue squares, like as in the blue um skills, therefore like production, so like increasing the money increasing like the production speed and stuff like that some are like for this one here so this one is managed to fight on the streets so some of them have specific buildings they will be awesome on so keep that in mind um when you look at capos and get capos stuff like that so let's open a couple tens at a time just speed the video up a little bit and see what the difference is from opening one at a time to ten at a time have a look nice we've got tia and mia Positron love them. So we only got one um legendary from opening ten there. Let's see what 
get for opening another tent got one legendary there too i like this guy as well i think he's a pretty strong one from my own personal experience so far got another one legendary there um so what we're going to do now so the 11 um save trick yeah we're going to open max which is 11 here right and we should in theory get two legendaries i believe it says my internet wants to work for me hello there we go Let's see what we get Ooh, apparently he is an absolute beast an absolute monster as you can see here she's got two fighting ones here fighting specialties so there you go she's definitely gonna be one we will upgrade okay so we've got two new legendary ones here okay we did get two so shout out to devoted on youtube maybe he's right we will test it more in the future just to you know ensure and verify uh tell you what let's claim these first three days and 17 hours left of this safe opening event i think resets weekly um uh, so let's open these two quickly nice we're going to open four japanese ones because i like japanese ones what i've got on my main and i really want to keep some of the japanese ones i actually do have already because i really think it's going to be so beneficial for me oh that's a good one he's a good guy he's a good one a couple of d's so i wouldn't recommend just casually open loads and loads and loads of the cigar ones reason being because obviously it gets a lot more expensive as you go through but for me personally i utilize the cigar safes to actually Ooh. We've got a new capo and apparently i think he's a good fighting one too if i'm not mistaken so the reason i'm not going to open loads and loads and loads is because i use these for my tasks in the streets because um there'll be ones like spend cigars and stuff like that and when you're upgrading your capos and it wants you to spend hundred and some trillion upgrading your capos is not going to take a hundred trillion you know and you can reset your capos and stuff like that but you know you're having to spend diamonds stuff like that but if you go into the shop you can just open cigar cases you know well cigar safe sorry you know what i mean so it does make sense to play smart and utilize everything the game gives you in the full show of it the full shebang Let's have a look at the capos we've got nice we've got a huge increase of legendary capos there which will come in clutch the capo expect exchange bit we will go into that shortly and i will make a video on that shortly so Keep an eye out for that one, guys. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, good boy.